It's cotton candy cloud Hey Divas, so in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys a tutorial on my basic beat and I'm going to be featuring the Juvia's Place products really but mainly as to focus on the foundation sticks um, so I could tell you guys my final thoughts on these foundation sticks because I had them for so long and I've had trial and error with my video making about these six. But anywho if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this super simple everyday type of beat as well as seeing my thoughts on this Juvia's Place foundation stick then definitely keep on watching. Okay Diva so jumping right in we are going to be using this primer it's by Milk it is their Hydro Primer I believe or Hydro whatever it's called. <laughs> So anyways, I'm just going to be priming my face with that. Now let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I know my wig looks crazy. Just don't even mind that, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and set my primer. And I'm going to use the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Powder. And this one is in the shade Gobi. And I like to do that in my oily areas just so that my foundation can last. Especially seeing that we are going to be using stick foundations. On my skin, stick foundations tend to be more oily. So, um, yeah, that's why I have to go in and do this. And I like to do this because I find that it really helps my makeup to last a lot longer. And I got that tip from Auntie Jackie Ina, okay? So now we're going to go in with the stick foundation. This shade that I am using, which I switched, is called the Nin. And I switched this one because, I don't know, Tunisia looks nice on me, but it was just not meshing in like super perfectly like this one. So the new shade that I am using is the Nin. Now I do want to let you guys know that this foundation is super easy to blend. I feel like it's medium to full coverage. Um, and I say that because I tested it on my neck, which I have blemishes on my neck, and it didn't completely cover it, but if you build it up just a little bit, it will cover your bl blemishes, excuse me, if you have blemishes, but it's super easy to blend out, and I... I really like it. I feel like this foundation is really, really nice. I feel like it'll work more so for my oily skin in the winter time, though. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the rest of the foundation. So next I'm going to go in with the concealer. I am using the I Am Magic Concealer because I do not care for the stick products to use, especially in my T-zone area. So I'm going in, in with the I Am Magic Concealer. This one is in the shade number 12. I absolutely love this highlight. I feel like it's in between being super glam and natural at the same time, so I feel like it's really perfect. I don't mind being super glam, but this is a basic beat, so I didn't want to use a highlighter that was like so freaking you know glam so anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out Now I'm just going to go back in with my foundation brush and kind of blend everything in so that everything is seamless so that you don't know where my foundation and concealer ends and begins. I like to do this just to make everything look like it just meshes together. <laughs> So next I'm going to go ahead and set my highlighted areas with the I Am Magic powder in the shade Gobi.
So because I'm not going to go in with any eyeshadow, I am using the number 9 I Am Magic Concealer by Juvia's Place just to clean up my eyes and make it look a nice, a little bit more nice and neat and polished. And then I'm going to set it with the Govee Powder. Um, and it's just because this is a natural beat and I feel like that's what looks best with a natural beat if you're not going to wear any eyeshadow. So now we're going to go in with contouring and I'm going back in with the Juvia's Place Foundation Stick. And this one is in the shade Congo. Now this one is pretty dark. I do like my contour to be very uh, dramatic. So if you don't like this, then definitely go a shade up if you are around my skin tone or maybe even two shades. But I just like a really dramatic contour because my face is like oval round. Like I have a really weird shape face so I just kind of like to chisel up a little bit and I feel like doing that with a darker contour works well for me now I'm just going to clean it up because I feel like uh, I did get a little bit messy today I normally try not to do that but yeah it happens sometimes it just happens so I'm going back in with that shade Gobi to kind of cut it and clean it up and then I'll be setting my contour I'm going to let that set in for a little bit so don't worry I'm not going to walk around looking like a Neapolitan ice cream all day okay I promise I'm just letting that set in a little bit but now I'm just setting my contour and I'm using the shade film noir by Mac it is abs one of my absolute favorites which I meant to actually use um, a blush called Abby by Juvia's Place but I don't know I'm just so used to using the film noir blush so if you have all the Juvia's Place products and you want to use that then definitely go in but I definitely dropped the ball with that so now I'm just going to set my face and I'm setting my face with the NYX what spray is that I don't know but I love that spray <laughs> I don't know the name of it though I'll try to link everything in the description box below but if not don't kill me now I'm going to go in and line my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid eyeliner and then I'm going to go in with these lashes and they are called Vanity and then I'm going to go in with this highlight by Anastasia Beverly Hills and um, yeah that's pretty much my final look. Oh no it's not. We still didn't even put on lipstick. What am I talking about? <laughs> but I'm just setting my face again after I applied my highlighter so I'm going to go in with this Milani um champagne lip plumper gloss and this nika k lip liner in coco and i think that this is really really cute but it was not giving me like that nude effect that i really really wanted so i went in with ColourPop's curvy the collaboration with seta e so yeah i felt like this really like stepped up the whole combo so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoy make sure you thumbs up comment below subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one bye